Mental illness does not discriminate. It can affect anyone. It doesn't matter who you are. Considering the huge story of Marina Joyce that's been blowing up everywhere and took over the world by storm, I just wanted to make this video because it brought up a topic that hits really close to home to me and I can't say I know what's going on with Marina Joyce. There's so many different conspiracies. I can say I do not personally believe that she's kidnapped or anything like that. But I do see signs of mental illness and that's what brings me to make this video because I know this topic has already gotten way more attention than it should have. But I hope she does get the help she needs for whatever is going on. And I'm, like I said, I'm not saying she has a mental illness, but I've just saw a few signs that she could be suffering from mental illness. And considering that mental illness has affected me so personally in my life, um, I wanted to make this video and maybe kind of help spread awareness of mental illness and explain to you just how important it is to look after those with mental illness and look for signs to seek help. Um, with Marina Joyce's situation, I saw numerous things that could point in the direction that she could be suffering something related to mental illness. Um, just her overall drop in function, her lack of efforts, her lack of passion was the biggest thing I've seen. I did not know who Marina Joyce was before this whole situation, so I, like everybody else, began to research her and watch her older videos compared to her newer videos when all this was going on, just to kind of get my own opinion. And I did develop an opinion thinking that she very well could be suffering from mental illness based on, like I said, her lack of passion. She seems to have some thinking problems or nervousness because she was very repetitive with her speech in her newer videos, which is another sign of mental illness and she also was presenting unusual behavior, of course, because she was acting completely different. Even for people like me that wasn't around her channel that just just learned about her, she was acting completely different. And another thing I noticed was how she holds up her hands. Even during her interview, she would talk with her hands held up when she wasn't speaking with her hands. I'm not talking about speaking with her hands because I even do that, but I'm just talking about when she wasn't doing a motion with her hands, they seemed to just stand kind of near her face. She just holds them up, which I found was unusual. But it just all points in the direction of symptoms that could be mental illness related and that's what brought me to the topic of this video because mental illness is something so important for me to spread the word about. Considering that my dad suffered from mental illness, a lot of you may know that, and I did lose him. Um, but I want to spread this for anybody out there that may be suffering from mental illness or know somebody and just kind of let you guys know my thoughts on it and how we could possibly make a stand against mental illness to help. Um, it's just crazy that it affects so many people. It affects one in five adults, one in ten children, which major depression is the biggest thing to affect children, and one in 25 people actually have a major mental illness considering bipolar or anything of that nature like schizophrenia and major depression, which my dad had major depression and I've seen how badly that can affect that person and the people around them, considering that I was very well affected during his battle with mental illness. Now, at the beginning stages, people can appear completely normal, so it's easy for everyone to think nothing is wrong, but there really is something underlying that's just within themselves. It's like a battle within themselves, and it's probably one of the worst battles they could fight because it's hard to fight yourself because there's no way to escape. You're just trapped there and you feel helpless. Now, I want to say I strongly, strongly encourage anyone, if you're suffering from mental illness or know anybody, please, please, please seek help. Now, mental illness does not discriminate. It can affect anyone. It doesn't matter who you are. There's so many factors that can lead up to mental illness, whether it's drug related, like some people have said Marina Joyce's situation is, which I have no idea about, but things such as your genes, illnesses, injuries, and brain chemistry. I know my dad had a chemical imbalance inside of his brain, which they said related to causing his mental illness. Um, it can be life occurrences. I mean, life can be pretty hard and it likes to knock us down and sometimes it knocks someone down farther than others. It can be family history. It is hereditary. It just does not discriminate. It can attack anyone and it shows no mercy. So 
what I want to get across today is that if you or someone you know is suffering from mental illness, number one, please seek help. I cannot emphasize that enough. Secondly, support that person. If you find out that someone you know or love is battling mental illness, just be their number one support system. Help them get help. Just be there for them. Let them know that you are there and you are there till the end, no matter what. You will be there through this whole battle. And thirdly, show that person respect. They are no different than anybody else. They do not deserve less respect. Just respect that person and show them how much you care and love them. That's the best things you can do. And like I said, this story just really hit home to me and I wanted to make this video just in case anybody out there knows somebody that needs help so you can help them get to that stage. Just look up any agencies around you and if one place doesn't help you, keep going till you find someone that will. We had a system fail us and I don't want that to happen to anyone else. Just keep going until you find the help that person or you need because you deserve it. Everybody deserves that help and everybody deserves to be happy. So I just wanted to make this video to kind of give my insight and spread a little more awareness about mental illness because it is a huge, huge, huge deal and it can be so silent and maybe if we can step up and realize the signs and symptoms and be able to find help when we see those signs or symptoms, maybe we can make a stand against mental illness. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not already. I post a new video every Wednesday and Sunday. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love each and every one of you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.